all right guys now let's implement this part now as you can see i have displayed all the users existed inside my database now let's fix them so our users are exist inside this collection name so now i wanna log in using this user so i try to log out from here okay i didn't implement this sign out functionality now let's implement it i'm going to close all tabs okay and i'm going to look for user model okay and if i scroll down as you can see we have this sign out button so up here i'm going to make a new function sign out so this function should be asynchronous function and now we need to say await and now we need to import sign out function from firebase so let's import it manually all right now it's a function and we need to pass this art inside it okay now inside this error message just write toast.error it should be error dot message okay and also when the user is logged out we want to push him to the demo page so in here at first we need to get our navigate hook so i'm going to write here navigate and it's equal to use navigate it's going to be null by default okay so the user should navigate to the demo page okay and you can send a message also this should be success and the message is going to be user has been logged out and of course i need to add this function so let's change this name because they seem to be duplicate name so I just name it log out okay now let's add it inside our button okay now if I click this button you can see I could successfully log out seems we have an error here okay inside the save component an error occurred what's the error Let's open this step post. Okay guys, the problem is this current user dot UID. So because the user is not currently logged in, so we don't have any current user. Now make sure to change this to be post dot user ID. Okay. Now if I refresh the page here, you can see we don't have that error anymore all right now you can see our post has been displayed here you can implement the trending later now let's log in using this google so now let's put this data in here so i'm going to close all the components here and instead i'm going to open this component which is called follow okay now at first let's fetch our users data here so in here you can get the user's data from this context API, but I don't want to do that. Instead, I'm going to use this custom hook. Okay, I have added this custom hook here, which is this use fetch. I'm going to use this. So in here, I'm going to say con data and loading, which is coming from use fetch and i'm going to fetch this users here okay and now as you can see we are showing only five users here and the rest will be under this button when i click this button the rest of my users will be shown okay so now let's implement it okay so in here i'm going to store it inside a separate variable i'm going to say users okay and it's equal to if we have data then we are going to get the first five items of our users dot slice and from zero up to five okay 
so in here i'm going to store this count so later on we can increment this so i'm going to name this count and set count which is equal to use state and it's going to be 5 by default so instead of this 5 i'm going to write count here okay so now if i display this users it will be including the user which is currently logged in so i want to filter out that user so in here i'm going to say that filter user and and user dot user id is not equal to the current user dot uid now let's get this current user here so i'm going to say current user and it's going to be equal to this block let's import this block function here and this one okay so now if i console like this users here okay you can see we have only one user because inside the firebase database we have only two users so we have filtered the user which is currently logged in and we have only one user here okay so now let's display it here at first i'm going to have a fragment and inside here and inside here i'm going to map to these users so users that map we're going to get each and every user and the index and inside here we need to return some data i'm going to have a div here with the class name of flex item start gap should be two and margin y is going to be four okay so inside this we need to have a div so this div will have a class name of flex one flex item center gap should be two and cursor pointer okay so inside of it we need to have an image okay so now first let's destructure this data here so i'm going to get username and they are all coming from this user okay and also we need to have a key because this key is required we are using map image search is going to be this user image okay and we are going to have an old user image okay we have an error let's check it users dot map is not a function okay let's add this question mark here and let's say if we have data then we want to map to this user okay here is our user image okay so now let's add a class name for this image width should be three rim and height should be three rim as well and also we need to have object cover gap should be two and finally cursor pointer okay now here is our image and as you can see beside it we have our username and the bio and this button okay so i have added this flex it will separate my image with the username so the username will go inside another div let's add a class name for this we're going to say flex flex column and gap is going to be one okay so our username and bio will be on top of each other so we added this flex column now inside here we need to have a heading to for the username and it has a class name font bold and it should be capitalized okay and we need to have a spam tag for our bio we're going to set a condition if we have bio we want to display that otherwise we want to display this text that this user has no bio okay 
Now you can see this user has no bio and let's style it. I'm going to give it a class name of leading four. So text color should be gray and 500. Text size is small. And we need to have line clamp of two. Okay. And finally we have this follow button. So for that button we need to have a separate component because we need that follow functionality in other components also. So down this div we are going to add a component called follow button. I'm going to add it inside this folder and it should be follow button.jsx. Okay and now let's import it here you can see here is our button and we need to have a fragment inside this we are going to have a button with the text of follow okay so we are going to have a class name for this so the button will have a border border color should be black padding x3 Padding Y should be 0 0.2 rim and rounded full. You can see my button is looking good, but since we have some CSS problem here. Okay, now let's check it. Okay, and this div must be inside this image div. Okay. And we need to make it round so I forget to add rounded here rounded should be full okay and that's it now they are looking the same okay now let's implement this follow functionality so again we need to have a sub collection similar to our save post so at first let me have a use that hook to check whether the user is followed or not. I'm going to call it is followed. Set is followed. Okay, and it's equal to use that hook. It's going to be false by default. Alright guys, our following functionality is similar to save post. So when the user click this, we are going to check the database whether this user exists inside our followings or not if he exists there we want to unfollow him or delete it from our database otherwise we want to add this user inside our database okay so we have this is follow it so now we are going to make a new function here and i'm going to call this handle follow it should be an asynchronous function here okay and inside here we're going to have a try and catch block so our functionality will be the same as safe post so i'm going to find this safe post component here so as you can see in here we have checked whether the user is logged in or not now let's get this current user here current user and it's coming from our context api okay so at first we are going to check if our current user exists or not okay and then as you can see we need to have a reference so i'm going to copy this from here and add it here this should be follow reference and again we need to import this database and we are going to add this current user id and this sub collection name should be follow or follows and this time instead of this post.id we are going to send user id and we need to get this user id using props from our follow component so i'm going to add it here okay and we have structured this user id from user all right so we have our reference here okay so now we need to check whether this user is a follower or not so i'm going to check if the user is a follower so if the user is a follower as you can see then we are going to just delete this document here 
I'm going to copy and paste it here. Let's import this tool. This delete doc. Okay. And this should be this follow reference. Okay. And instead of this message, we're going to say user is and follow it because we are going to delete his document from our database right so now if he is not a follower then we are going to add him as you can see we have this set doc here i'm going to copy this from here and add it here okay and need to change this rep and we need to import this doc here and also instead of this post we are going to send our user id okay now we need to change this to uppercase and of course we need to change this message here is follow it okay now let's add this message here this should be error and of course this should be error dot message okay now this function will follow our user so i'm going to add an on click to this button here okay once we have followed the user to check whether this user is follower or not we need to paste the data from our database so again we need to have this data from here okay and we need to import it and also this should be follows because our sub collection name is follows and also this should be current user dot uid and also we need to change this registered hook in here and this should be find index and also we are going to print this current user dot uid instead of this post id okay and in here also all right and we set it to not be equal to minus one so uh, using find index if the operation is true this should not be equal to minus one but if the operation is not true it should be equal to minus one so in here the operation should be true and i have added this not equal to minus one okay so inside this button i'm going to set a condition if it's follow it then i want to print this follow it text here saying that the user is a follower otherwise we want to print this follow text equal to this minus one now as you can see now you can see this user is not being followed yet but if i click this button i need to wait for a while you can see user is followed so if i refresh the page here okay and let's check it inside our database now you can see we have a new follows so we have follows a new user here and here is his user id okay so now let's check why this text is not changed okay and now you can see if i click this button user is unfollow it and if i click it back you can see the user is follow it okay now we are done with this part i can follow and unfollow him but now we have a problem here so when this user follow this user so we want to have another sub collections inside this user called followers we want to calculate how many followers this user has and for this user who follows this user we have this sub collection so now we need to have a separate ref for our followers so i'm going to duplicate it and this time it should be follower rep and okay and this time we're going to write here followers sub collection and now we need to change their class so this one should be our user which is this one which is this one that we are going to follow 
and this one should be current user dot uid the user who is following okay so now in here we need to add this follower rip and also we need to add this follower doc also so i'm going to add this follower doc here and user id equal to user id so now i'm going to unfollow this from here and if i click this follow you can see the user has been followed and in here this user has a follows sub collection but this user will get a follower sub collection so using the sub collections we are going to calculate how many users have followed me and using this follow sub collection we will calculate how many users we are following okay now we can get this data inside our profile here as you can see we have this followers and following here so we can print this data here so i'm going to open profile again as you can see we have followers and following here now let's get this data from our database so again we are going to need this single page so i'm going to copy this from here and inside this profile i'm going to add it now let's import it here again this should be our follow data follows okay and i don't need this loading here so in here we need to print our user this post user id and also the sub collection is going to be this follows so for the followers this should be user post user id and this should be followers okay now if i console log them here followers and follows let's inspect this browser here seems we get an error don't worry we are going to fix this error okay this post is not defined let's check why the post is not defined okay because this post is not here so instead we need to find our user id here this one and also we need to print our user id here okay so now so the first array is empty because we don't have any followers nobody have follow with me but the second one has this user id inside so now we are going to print the length of this followers and followers in here. So instead of this number, I'm going to print the followers dot length. And instead of this followings, we are going to print the follow dot length. Okay. Now you can see I have followed one person, but if I open this person here, okay, I didn't add a link. I'm going to open this follow here and we need to set an on click so in here I'm going to write here navigate which is equal to use navigate okay and inside this image tip I'm going to have an on click function and it will navigate me to my profile so the profile URL was this profile and we need to print the user id here so user id okay and of course this should be plus slash user id okay so now if i click this image here you can see i will be redirected to this profile and this user has one followers okay and in here i cannot see his save post all right but here we get a problem i don't want the edit button to be displayed here because this is not my user so i can edit his profile and also this one so what i need to do is we need to set a condition so i'm going to open this profile again i mean inside this activities and this profile about so in here we have this edit button 
at first let me get this current user here it's coming from block okay and then here we need to state a condition if current user dot uid is equal to this get user data dot user id then i want to display this button now if i open this about you can see i'm not able to see this button but i'm able to see my own button here which is this one now let's hide this button this edit profile so again inside this profile down here which is this one so in here i'm going to set a condition similar to the previous one so if current user dot uid at equal to this get user data dot user id then i want to display this button now let's get our current user id here okay and in here we need to set a condition for our border as you can see when the user is full width it doesn't have any border so inside this follow button this should be following okay instead of this follow it and i'm going to change this to be temporary string and inside here i'm going to state a condition so if there is follow it then i wanna the text to be gray and 500 and also get rid of this border so border none otherwise it should be empty string okay now you can see this following is the same as this one if i click it back you can see it will be follow and following okay now one thing is left here so as you can see we have a button here so if we have more than four users i don't want to print all of them here and i said i need to have this load for more users button so inside this follow down here we need to set a condition so as you can see we have this data if data dot length is greater than five then i want to print this button so the button should be with the text of load for more users this should be small letter and if i change it the opposite so you can see you can see here is my button and i'm going to give it a class name here so the class name will be margin bottom 3 text should be green and 900 and also we need to have text small for hover effect it should be underlined now you can see here is our button and we need to add an on click so on click and we need to set this count here and we need to get this previews inside it so at first we need to check so if this users in here i'm going to say if users.length is smaller than data.length then i want to increment this previews by three okay so for now we don't have more than five users displayed in the browser but if we have more than that like this one and if i click this button it should generate three more users for me okay so this is how we can do that and i need to bring it back to greater than five and you can see we don't have that button anymore because we don't have more than five users all right now let's push this code to our github i'm going to say okay 